Hey, hi everyone. Today I will discuss how to create Gradle project in Eclipse ID. So let's get started. So I have this Eclipse ID and today I will try to create a Gradle project from scratch. So for that you just need to go to this file menu and from here just click on new and here you will see uh, different options like java project project package plus you just need to go because uh, here we don't see gradle option so we will click on other just click on other and here now you can see it's saying select a wizard and here you will get different options like java project gradle gradle project so we just need to select this gradle project and in case you don't see this gradle option in your eclipse id which means you don't have gradle plugin for eclipse so i would recommend you to watch my previous session in which uh, we got to know how to install gradle plugin in eclipse id once that plugin is installed in your eclipse id you will be able to see this gradle project option so we just need to click on this gradle project click on next and here you can see uh, for creating gradle project you have different options like you could create smart project creation gradle wrapper advanced options so these are just info and we would click on next and here you could give the project name so your project name for example i'm giving let's say a sample project sample project and you just choose your default any work, workspace location and click on next button and here you could see um, you have different options for gradle distribution so you can have options like gradle wrapper local installation directory remote distribution location a specific gradle version so what does it mean it means uh, this Eclipse ID wants to know where your Gradle distribution is there, where your Gradle, uh, Gradle, I mean, I mean to say, you should have Gradle installed on your machine, right? So if you have uh, Gradle on your machine, so Eclipse want to know where is that Gradle setup or Gradle distribution or Gradle zip file. So you just need to provide where your Gradle home is. So on my machine, it is at E drive Gradle. Let me show you how it will look like. So as you can see, I have this Gradle setup. Uh, on my E drive, I have created Gradle folder and inside that I have this Gradle distribution which is a zip file. I extracted this zip file and after that up to I mean bin folder I mean one level up so this path we need to set. So this is nothing but the Gradle home path. We don't have to include the bin folder. So the folder location above bin folder or bin directory. So this path we need to give an Eclipse ID. So that's the reason uh, here I have given the same part. I mean the Gradle folder structure uh, one level before the bin directory of Gradle. Which means so I'll go with this option local installation of Gradle. So I've given this part. I just click on next button and it will prepare Gradle project for you as you can see um, uh, Eclipse is giving preview of your project like saying project root directory is this 
I mean the workspace location and the name of the project and saying your Gradle user home directory is this so this is the dot uh, Gradle folder which generally cre um, gets created after the Gradle installation under your users and username this at this location and saying uh, Gradle distribution for your project is local installation which is at this location the Gradle version is 4.7 Java home directory is program file Java JDK so this uh, information is a kind of preview of your project you just need to click on finish button that is the last option just click on finish and your project will be created so it will synchronize your Gradle projects with workspace so some process will is running once this process is completed you will I mean but that time you would have created the Gradle project and here you go this project is created and on this left hand side we could see now sample project and if I expand this you will get the whole folder structure which is automatically generated by the Gradle and here you could see SRC main Java in which we write our source code and SRC test Java here we can write our test cases or test classes this GRE system libraries some auto generated dependencies this bin directory cradle src this build dot cradle so i mean this project is created now and uh, the important thing in this uh, folder structure is this file build dot cradle because this is the file from which we can control everything so like in maven build tool we have pom.xml so same way in Gradle projects we have build out Gradle file so just let's uh, I would like to walk you through this auto generated Gradle for, uh, in build out Gradle file as you can see this file was generated by the Gradle init task so in Gradle we have different tasks we will discuss these tasks in detail in our upcoming sessions for now let's see what exactly inside this build out Gradle file so we can see this uh, plugins block since it's a java project so uh, they have auto generated uh, this java library so in plugin section we um, generally include the plugin what kind of uh, project we would like to create like uh, if you want to create java project then that we have we need to include plugin related to java so if you would like to create a project related to scala then we have a plugin for Scala so Gradle provides different plugins depending on different kinds of projects another block in the build world Gradle file is dependencies block and in this dependency block we define all the dependencies which we need for our project so in any in any Java project uh, we need different jar files right so we have two options either we can include those jar files as an external jar, jar file in our project or we should define dependency here in the built Gradle file for example let's say uh, you want uh, test ng jar files so you just need to provide the look I mean the required dependency uh, I mean the Gradle dependency in this dependencies block so once you build the project your test ng will be automatically included in your project We'll, we'll see those stuffs later on but for now uh, just uh, would like to emphasize that in build got Gradle file we have dependencies block where we can define what all dependencies we want to use in our project and next we our next block which is automatically created is repositories so repositories uh, it represents from where your dependencies will be downloaded so um, because in this section we will say okay I need XYZ dependency and in the repositories we specify from where Gradle should go and fetch those dependencies alright so these are the main blocks I think there are three blocks which are automatically generated I mean from the scratch like plugins dependencies and repositories and it's all about build Gradle file and uh, there could be more blocks to it depending on our requirement 
So uh, Gradle provides flexibility that you can have different blocks inside build.gradle file and uh, you can utilize the uh, strength of Gradle to accomplish your task. Alright, so uh, that's what I wanted to discuss. I mean, we just got to know that, okay, we have, if we have Gradle uh, plugin in Eclipse ID, then we can create Gradle project. And after creation of Gradle project, we see these kind of options. And uh, in, this, in this folder structure, the main file is build.gradle, which is the, I mean, main controller file. I mean, from here, we define our project, whatever we want, we can uh, mention in this build.gradle file. All right, so that's what I wanted to discuss with you guys today. And thank you so much for your time. See you in next session. Bye-bye.